Welcome to Follow the Brand TV. I am your host, Grant McGaw, CEO of Five Star BDM, a five star personal brand and business development company. B for brand, D for development, and M for masters. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey through another deep dive into the world of personal branding and business development using compelling personal stories, business conversations, and tips to improve your brand. By watching the Follow the Brand TV series, you will learn how to differentiate yourself from the competition and build trust with prospective clients. As the saying goes, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So make it one that will set you apart, build confidence, and reflect who you are. Building your five-star personal brand is a great way to improve your skills and knowledge. If you have any questions for me or any of my guests, please email me at grant.mcgaw at fivestarbdm.com. Now, let's jump into our next episode on Follow the Brand TV. special show we're gonna i do a podcast the follow the brand podcast it's something that i do on a weekly basis and i highlight professionals and 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 business people specifically entrepreneurs in the field of healthcare, information technology along the lines of personal branding career development business development and financial empowerment so today i want to welcome you to a special follow the brand tv live special at the Black Business Olympics, where we are building a five-star brand that you can follow. So today we're talking about branding in the metaverse. And I will be joined by a couple of, of people that I work with extensively on this, pro- on this project, basically. So we understand that the crypto space has unique marketing needs. Marketing has always looked to test innovative platforms and the universe is no, excuse me, the metaverse is no different. For brands thinking about how to navigate this new frontier, even knowing where to start can be daunting. So brand owners seeking to promote their trademarks in the metaverse may be able to do so through a variety of means, including NFTs. So the metaverse will be a huge experience for brands. People gravitate to brands with a strong digital presence. So with that said, we can become our own influencer community in this metaverse. So today we will discuss what the metaverse means for marketers and the variety of ways that healthcare brands can now explore the use of NFTs. So with that said, I'd like to bring up, if you have them available, Ms. Sharonda Davis and also Carl McIver. How are you doing, Sharonda? I feel great. How are you? Thank you so well, you much look for wonderful. having me. Uh, without question, I am glad you, you're here. And then we've got Carl back there. I see you, Carl. How you doing? It's great to see you, Grant. And Sharonda, it's always a pleasure. Hi, Carl. Now, you, we, everybody here, we all know each other. We've been working with each other. And it all centered around the metaverse that has come out. People became more and more aware, specifically when Facebook announced that they were changing the name to Meta, and people were like, whoa, 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 what, what is going on here? This is really explosive. So I have worked with Sharonda on some branding strategies. I've worked with Carl. He's actually been on the show previously, and we had a great, great, great discussion. So we're going to have a great discussion today. But before I even get started with that, Sharonda, if you don't mind, tell the audience just a little bit about you and your background. Well, Grant, thank you so much for asking. I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse, a critical care nurse for the past 15 years. Unfortunately, going through COVID and working through COVID, several contracts in New York and Atlanta, I really got burnt out. And I'm really in um, search of a way out of nursing, if I can be honest. And 
In addition to that, my youngest son is an artist. He expressed to me one day that he wanted to be a digital artist. I started searching career paths so I wouldn't crush his dreams. And I found out about NFTs. Um, I took a deep dive in and immediately I saw the benefit to the future of healthcare. And I want to be a part of that. And I also see it as an excellent segue out of nursing, but still able to contribute to society. I'm so glad you did. That is a wonderful story. I know COVID has been a tremendous burden on all of us. And you were on the front lines of all of that. And now you're being able to take a lot of that energy, a lot of that experience, and you're, you're pivoting into this NFT world. And we're going to talk more about that here in a moment. So before that, we want to introduce Carl Lorenzo McIver. All right, Mr. Carl, tell us a little bit more about yourself as well. Well, I started out, uh, I lived in the Bronx, I'm from Brooklyn, <laughs> and there I learned uh, how to design and create. And then from there, I worked at advertising agencies, branding agencies, and since then I've done a little film, I've done a little branding and awareness. And those tools I brought to health. Um, I've worked for some of the major hospitals in New York City. Um, I branded um, Medicaid and Managed Care Choice in New York City. So I had a lot of background in branding and advertising. And being a minority, um, it was extremely difficult. And I wouldn't say it was difficult because of my abilities to execute projects, but sometimes projects wouldn't come to my attention. And I think everyone knows that. I think we all have mothers that said, you know what, you have to be better than everyone else. And you know, it's sad commentary uh, that we have to do be double as good, you know, but to the benefit of that, we become just as good. <laughs> so with that being stated, I think this transition into this uh, paradigm shift into the metaverse is such a wonderful opportunity because I don't ever remember ever having the ability to jump into an environment or a space that everyone has the ability to call their own. And it's not dependent upon race, it's just dependent upon how much work um, individual wants to put forth and to be able to meet that space. And I just want to say thank you to Dr. Kelly and everyone involved for um, and yourself, Grant and Sharonda for providing me this opportunity. And, um, and Christopher Lafayette, yesterday, Christopher Lafayette, um, thank you so much for um, this opportunity to be able to be a part of this. Well, if you've listened to what was discussed yesterday morning, with Christopher Lafayette. He framed the, the, the overall arcing, the viewpoint of the metaverse from a humane stand, standpoint and what the opportunity looks like. And we're taking another leap in the digital space into technology and really around human awareness. And we learned something very, very important is that you can have art without technology but you cannot have technology without art and when we start talking about nfts that is the basis of these nfts it's around art so i want to start with sharonda and i'm going to ask her this question because she's been in this healthcare space for 15 years and now she's pivoting into this nft world and she's learned i know a lot of things but she's bringing her use cases things that she has experienced as you know as a nurse up front on the front lines for a number of years so what use cases can you imagine for healthcare sharonda Oh my goodness, Grant. Thanks so much for asking that. The use cases are plenty. One of the main ones I think about, um, and it's very uh, dear to my heart because as nurses, we're innovators. We always have ideas. We're at work and we see all these gaps and processes and we can come up with ideas, but we may not have the funding. With NFTs and the community building ideas behind it, you can reach out to other nurses that share those same interests and share that same problem and say, hey, let's let's it's almost a source of crowdfunding in a way. I feel like it's an opportunity for anyone with an idea in healthcare to build a community around that idea and try your best to see it through because there's somebody that has had that has had that problem and that is willing to join your community and invest in your idea. So healthcare research is one use case that I'm very, 
I, I feel is a very, very good use case. And then data. How many times have you gone to this doctor, this doctor, this doctor, and no one knows what that doctor said? NFTs, when you're able to upload your health history to an NFT and everywhere you go, you show a barcode on your phone. This is my last EKG. These are my last lab results. That eliminates so many gaps in healthcare for so many people all over the world. And those are just two of the use cases that I can see for healthcare right now. Well, I tell you, those are some phenomenal use cases. And I, I'd like to ask Carl to chime in on that. What do you what do you see that can happen in this NFT world when it comes to the, and you've done something around the nurse ecosystem, and I know that you can chime in on this and really give us some insight. I love what Sharonda has done. We came across, uh, I came across Sharonda because one of the posts that I did on LinkedIn, and I tell you, I was so pleased to see her uh, her reply. There's a term that I want to use called self-investment. And self-investment means taking out the time to invest in yourself or your platform. Uh, Sharonda is a perfect case of self-investment. Here she saw it, and I'm and I'm telling you, I'm not just saying that to say that. She knows <laughs> that I saw her as a fine example of not just nurses saying we're innovative, but taking the time out to look at a situation, develop. An, an, um, an answer for it, and then to go set forth and find an execution. It's not the easiest thing because the metaverse is not really technically defined in stone. It's, it's mentally, uh, theoretically defined, but it's not defined where you can go into Webster's Dictionary and say, okay, metaverse, such and such and such. And granted, there's so many individuals that are trying to define it, and they're trying to find a way to be able to, um, let's say, find a rhyme or reason for it. Now, I want you to understand, I'm not saying that it's not important and it's not coming. Oh, it's coming. But the people like, let's say, Sharonda and others that find a connection where you put A together with B, it will equal C. It's going to happen. So. I just want to backtrack when you mentioned about design. And I tell you, I love what Christopher Alafia mentioned about design. Art and design and creative is important to every process. Design is important. Branding is important. If some of the business people on this forum um, have not come to understand that, then it's going to be problematic for their business. It's not only be problematic for the metaverse, but it was already problematic when it came to something as simple as uh, a website. The metaverse is today's what was website. <laughs> so you, you, if you haven't started retooling, you just have to do it. Now, I, I think to answer your question about self-investment, you're going to have to take time to sit back and invest in yourself and develop a platform. Once that platform is developed, there are going to be people that will come and say, I like that. Now, case in point, Bloodless Medicine and Surgery, and as you know, Grant, was the first brand that I initiated, and that's probably about three years ago. The whole rhyme of reason was that of that branding was a sore situation where, um, very simple, hospitals had bloodless programs. Those bloodless programs were allocated basically for a small niche, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses, in which I'm one, and we benefited from that. One night, I don't know, something hit me in the head and said, wait a minute, <laughs> this simple process needs to be shown to everyone globally. So then I set out, my wife thought it was crazy, to be able to form everyone. Now, only because of social media can something like that take place. And I'm saying to Black businesses, Never before did you have tools that you can afford to be able to get your message out. You know that, Grant, because you've been around yeah. business for many years. I'm sure Sharonda oh, yeah. realized that too. If we were talking about 20 years back, there's no way that she would be able to start something without literally you know, mortgaging our home several times over. So with that, I developed the platform. you know, And it's bloodless medicine surgery is basically for the general population, provide awareness. In that, I noticed that nurses never, ever received the validation 
that they deserve. And everybody knows that. That's why they're doing balloons and they're running up and down wards and hospitals and giving them candy and you, you name it. So I said, wait a minute. Let's give them the identity that they deserve. And if you give them that identity they deserve, they will show loyalty. That has happened globally. Africa, UK, US have realized, have come to an appreciation of the nursing ecosystem. And real quick, why did I call it a nursing ecosystem? This nursing ecosystem was way before, I think it was before the pandemic and it had nothing to do with the metaverse. But I realized, why are we calling nursing field? The nursing field doesn't make any sense. I mean, everyone knows that it's in Black business. When I say field, you're going to the field. What does that mean? <laughs> the connotations are, are horrendous. So to say nurses should be working in a field, then you've already placed a barrier on them for want any type of, you know, I guess, exposure past the borders you've already set. It's a psychological thing. So I said, let's call it a nursing ecosystem where it gives them the freedom to be able to go wherever they like and let this thing transform organically. So fast forward, now we have the metaverse and it was the perfect A to B. You can't go into the metaverse as a nurse if you're under the term nursing field. It literally is, a there's no logic behind it. But you can go in if you're under the term nursing ecosystem. Hey, so Carl, let, let's, cause that's what you just said there is important. And because Sharana has been in the field, she's, she, she knows exactly what you're talking about as far as the branding of being a nurse. And then what does this look like, you know, from you know, a digital perspective, we're talking about virtual worlds, NFTs. How, how did you, first of all, how did you receive Carl's message and then how did you begin to implement some of those ideas yourself? Well, thank you so much, Carl, for being so dedicated to the profession of nursing. I really appreciate that. I do want to, because um, I just worked last night, so I'm going to just be real honest with you all. A lot of my passion and motivation stems from the fact that as nurses, we are, and I know that you would like to remove the connotation field, Carl, but essentially we are on a plantation. Every time we clock in, we slave before the world. We pour out our hearts, our emotions. We're one of the very few professions that are required to dedicate ourselves mentally, emotionally, and physically for large parts of our day. Most of us, our circadian cycles are disrupted. And a large part of my motivation is seeing this new world and seeing all of these men with all of their software engineering and design and money, all of their skill be able to monopolize healthcare in a new world as they've already done in this current world. And because I can see the benefit to nurses and to the whole world, I'm so passionate about nurses being a part of the conversation that deals with them. That's my motivation. My motivation is to make sure that nurses are not left out of this new form of healthcare. So I appreciate your dedication. I respect it and I honor it, but it is my mission to make sure that nurses are included in this conversation, not just given candy, not just put on TV, not just given t-shirts and say you're heroes, but it's my mission to make sure if there's any healthcare in the metaverses, nurses are equipped and empowered to participate in it. So thank you, but I do want you to know that's where I stand, where nurses are concerned. But, you know, let's go I'm like crying. Oh no, no, she, she, I do she, too, she, because she, if, you, if you work one 12 hour shift, if you walk through one 12 hour shift in a nurse's shoes, you will cry. That's why I feel so passionate about it because there's so many nurses that are trapped in this career from age 19 to 70, slaving, 
for the whole world and they do not get the opportunities that most other people in other professions get. If I had not stepped away from the bedside and given myself the time, as you say, to invest in my mental and my well-being, I would not know about NFTs. Because when you are a full-time working nurse, all you have time to do is go to work and go to sleep. You don't have time to do, take the deep dive that it takes to learn about the metaverse. So that's where I come in. That's where I stand. And, and I'm going to hold that banner and I'm going to wave it because this time we're going to have a say. When you look at the top, the top healthcare industry professionals, the biggest companies in healthcare, Johnson & Johnson, all of them, they're started by men that have never even worked in healthcare. I don't want that for the metaverse. The metaverse is a very intricate thing. Although it has not been fully divine, it's meant to be a digital twin. And what I want is that when a patient shows up to the hospital in the metaverse, they feel the same comfort that they feel when I worked last night. That's that's where I come in at. And I'm sorry, I could go on and on. No, about no, no, no. See, we, want, we wanted to showcase your passion mm -hmm. and what you're talking about, Sharana, because this is important. You have been on these front lines for a long time. And this, a long I time. already know that this has been like super impactful. And I, we're, we're going to get back to what you, because you showed your passion about nursing. Now you're going to tell us about your passion at NFT. But before we do that, I want to ask Carl, because what she's talking about mm -hmm. is about marketing and branding and why that's important. Because if you've only seen the marketing and branding from uh, uh, one lens, you know, from a male dominated mm -hmm. lens, which if people don't know, healthcare, 70% of the workers are female mm -hmm. in, in the profession, in the mm -hmm. ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So Carl, are marketing and branding important for a business's introduction into the metaverse? Excellent point. I just want to tag on to something Sharonda said that is key. How many invitations have you seen on LinkedIn on any of the major platforms that have invited nurses to the ecosystem. How many invitations have you seen tech companies, which have now, I mean, billions of dollars, have invited nurses, right? How many doctors and physicians are using all types of equipment that's been granted to them from the tech companies? Now, I'm not bashing anyone. I'm just saying that one of the goals that I had was to make nurses now a brand so that they can see them. Without branding, without uh, awareness, it can't happen. It's like having a good idea and you're stuck in your garage. It just doesn't matter. So the my biggest challenge was you, you see the passion that Sharonda has, right? I'm not a nurse. I have to translate that passion into visual. I have to translate that passion into a headline. My job is to make you look. That's my job. Am I selling anything? No. The whole goal was to develop a category. Once the category is developed, now it gives someone something to bite upon. It gives the digital companies to say, wait a minute, you know, these folks mean business. It may give those nursing associations, there's so many of them, right? Now it gives them something to bite on. So it, technically everyone wins. Now, the problem was everyone didn't know they win. I have to talk them into, guess what? If the category expands, you win. The folks like Sharonda, the many other nurses that say, wait a minute, we have better ideas. We want these ideas to be set. We want to start our businesses. This gives them confidence to know it could be done. But without a global branding, without a category, how can it be done? The metaverse is meant for everyone. It really is. The challenge is everyone doesn't know that they have the keys to the metaverse. Right. And everyone doesn't know what to do when they get there. You know, if I give you a mansion, Grant, and I said, Grant, this is your mansion. You stand in the middle and you say, well, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> so so you, we, we have to, you know, Sharonda has a training program where she's training nurses, all the, the, the technical, um, the verbiage, right, that's, that's needed, the vernacular. There's going to be a new vernacular. There's new terminologies. NFT, what does that mean? If you ask the average person, they don't know what that acronym means. What's a blockchain? 
What does that mean? So there's going to have to be educators that's going to really help these businesses, especially black owned businesses, where they can engage and feel comfortable that the first, the persons that they're engaging with is helping them, not trying to take advantage of them. And that's why nurses such as Sharonda have to keep going back because you need identifiable people to now become leaders in educating these other individuals that want to walk into this space and that letting them feel comfortable that they can. It's not intimidating, but you just have to put on your boots and just walk through. Well, I tell you, Carl, and now, now we want to take, talk about these use cases. You know, I met Sharonda, we, we had talked and we went through a, a brand and strategy. And the first thing, and Sharonda, you can just jump right on in, that she had to realize is that she had the capability. Amen. Right? Yeah. Right. That you knew you could do it. For that grant. No, because talk, talk. I, I might cry on this part because um being a nurse, and, and I'm an expert nurse, I'm gonna go ahead and toot my horn on that. But moving into a new industry like tech and design, Carl, um, it's very scary, especially because when you go into rooms and even as nurses, sometimes we speak of ourselves as I'm just a nurse. But what we don't understand when we say that is I'm a multitasker. I'm an innovator. I think very fast on the spot. I'm very compassionate. So all these soft skills that we overlook as nurses, I didn't realize until working with you, Grant, are beneficial. I can transfer them and I can create a whole new career and identity for myself. And this um, investing in your program was probably one of the best things I've done because it really helped me see like, you can do it, yeah. And also another thing you helped me see was that um, most of the time it's your resume and it's your marketing as carl was just saying it's the way you present yourself it's the way you package the story so i really appreciate that because that's another thing as nurses that we don't we all wear uniforms we barely even wear clothes outside of work if you if a full-time nurse you don't have clothes to put on and brand yourself time to do your makeup and try to really be somebody outside of just the nurse so I really appreciate you for giving me the courage and the confidence to step into this new industry and recognize the skills that I do have and that I can bring. So thank well, you. Well, I tell you, that. before we even go there, tell the audience, you're a nurse. Now you've gone into this space. How did you get started this NFT journey? Most people don't understand even like, well, how do you even get going? Okay, well, one thing I would recommend to anybody that wants to get started is YouTube University. Honestly, because of the novelty of the idea, there's so there isn't a lot of valid information. There isn't a lot of certified and stamped information. I did get the opportunity through um, a women's group here that I'm in called Web3 Equity. I got the opportunity to attend the uh, Every Realm Academy and I received a certificate in the metaverse and NFTs, but those are very far and few in between right now. But you can go to YouTube, you can learn the basics of NFTs, OpenSea, Coinbase, all of the basic marketplace have very good learning resources. Um, I, my group, Web3 Equity, we have wonderful learning resources with the intent of online boarding more women into NFT space, but there's so much of um, information available. I do recommend to anyone though, do at least 50 hours of very solid research before you actually start to invest your money because it's still very new. There are still a lot of traps and scams and you want to be very well equipped. You can um, reach out to me on LinkedIn, Sharonda Davis, on Instagram, I'm NFT nurse. I'm committed to really helping anyone that wants to understand, at least get a MetaMask wallet and learn how to make and buy NFTs. So you can reach out to me and I'll help you at the best of my ability. Well, I'm going to pivot over to Carl because now she just framed the story of how you get started. Mm -hmm. Carl, you are, you've built a virtual world. You've already built something in the metaverse for nurses. Can you just expound on that? 
Yeah, uh, definitely. And I want to uh, go back for um, the NFTs. Um, the acronym really is non-fungible token. What does that mean? Fungible is this. If I gave Grant you $5 and Grant, you said to Sharonda, give me five singles, that's fungible. It's a it's a, a exact transfer, right? Now, if I said, Grant, here's a picture. I give you the picture. Then you say, Sharonda, you know, I want to sell you this picture. That's non-fungible because it's not based, it's only based on basically the valuation that either it's given because um, it's a limited edition. It's based on whether Sharonda really likes it. It's based on what you decide to sell it for. So now, what does that mean? That means, obviously, everyone that gets into the NFT won't become a billionaire. We know that. But here's what it does mean. You can work hard and build a category where now it, it starts to increase the valuation, where it may not have had one before. Now, I want everybody to understand, we're just talking, you know, the medical field because, you know, that's pretty much Sharonda and, you know, and I, I my brands are, are medical. But by extension... I've done branding for all types of businesses. So I hope everyone here, all the um, black owned businesses look at this as just really just a format that could be adapted to other uh, verticals. Now, as far as it being international right now, you can decide on what you want your business to transform in. It could be local, it could be um, United States, or it could be international. Now, I'll just go into what I've built. I was able to, now, let me just backtrack. I'm not a Christopher Lafayette. <laughs> and I'll put it this way. If I can build it, you can build it. You know, so I, I'm not a genius in this aspect. I'm probably the least to really be here. And I said that when we did Gatherverse. I mean, all those other folks are well into this metaverse. But now think about this. There are people that have been in the metaverse for what, maybe 10, 15, 20 years doing things and gaming and everything, right? So imagine it is a highway and these folks are driving Ferraris because of their involvement in it. Someone like me that may have a little Ford with maybe three tires is able to get on the road. <laughs> so what that means, anyone could be able to do it. You can do it, just get on the road. You can get on the road. And that's all I did. So now being on the road, here's what I did. I partnered with a tech company and our relation and partnerships are everything. I know in black business, we have to learn, we have to partner. Mm -hmm. What we see right here, us three were uh, a development of partnerships. Grant, we partnered and you saw me and I saw you for about a year or so, right? We saw each other yeah, yeah. a couple of years. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we, we developed a nice little partnership. Sharonda, we're working together with a partnership. And I want everybody to understand, I hear this term modernization, modernization. Think about companies like Facebook. Think about some of the largest organizations you've seen. They didn't start out making money. Mm -hmm. Amazon, oh no. But now they build bridges and infrastructures where, forget it, whoever thought a man could decide, you know, I think I'll go to, I think I'll fly like NASA. <laughs> what type of money does that take? <laughs> Hey, hey, Grant, let's get together, fly to the answer. We'll build a. So that gives you an idea that, you know, this metaverse is open space. Mm -hmm. What did I build? I had two decisions. A, build a metaverse where you would sell property, where some do. You know, um, you know, you just heard recently maybe a little square can cost you 10000 But I didn't want to go into that realm. So my metaverse is about experience. So what I have is I literally have, what we say, a building with floors. And I'm now renting out floor space to different you know, companies that are that and, and, and these prices are not astronomical. Mm -hmm. They could be able to get you into the metaverse. Because right now, think about it. To really get into the metaverse, you're going to need some money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just the bottom line. Because yeah. if you go on the internet and you look. The simplest experience, maybe you want to do an auditorium. They're asking what starting price, what, 50000 yeah. just for one? And that's that's the, the level ground floor. So I said to myself, 
why not make it affordable for businesses to be able to enter into the space? Now, is my metaverse, it's called metaversal. It's for, yes, it's for education of medicine. Yes, it's true. Is it limited to that? No, but give me a call. You know, maybe we'll see if we make things work. Now, since then, I had a couple of organizations ask, make a request to build a building. So I want you to understand how this works. Right now, I have an island where you can go on an island and I have floors. So I can allocate floors. Like Sharonda, here's a floor and they'll, she'll do her teaching on the floor. With a building, you walk into and you'll have several floors. See? So now these are now very interesting um, cost um, or financial, you know, I guess what you call it, levels that I can be able to entertain to be able to get this going. But here's another thing. Companies, what I hope they'll realize that if they want to support nursing, then a sponsorship to a floor for a nurse would not be a great idea. <laughs> I know I would do it. <laughs> so, and especially this is a new environment. Everyone's looking. So since then, um, and I think we, we chatted about this, I'm doing actually the very first bloodless um, program, which is small. I want it small, almost like uh, unplugged. And it's in the metaverse. And here's the thing. We invite you, which means we select who comes in. <laughs> Don't you like that? <laughs> hey, VIP treatment. <laughs> we, invite, well, we invite you. Before, we were on a, and here's the beauty I want everybody to understand. You develop your business like you want. For years, we've been begging to be invited. You brand, right? You put yourself in position. Now you're in position to invite people. See, so now this whole concept places all these businesses into a new position that you've never done before. Sharonda has the ability to say, you know what? I'm only going to train nine nurses a year. It's up to her. <laughs> And these nine nurses are going to pay $100,000. And if you like it, fine. If you don't, well, find another better first <laughs> because it doesn't exist. <laughs> I, I, and I, I want to just make this point very clear. We are so new in an environment that has not been totally established yet. Mm -hmm. Think about Vegas. Las Vegas was nothing but sand. Mm -hmm. Well, until a couple of mobsters went out and decided to be more, but that's another story. But now, now, now look at it. <laughs> you can barely afford to live there. Look at Dubai. Have you ever been to seen Dubai? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Think of, so think about that with the metaverse. Mm -hmm. just, just, just wrap your mind around that. So Let me ask you this, Carl, before what? we go there, because you, you mentioned something that's super important, and that is as Sharonda now builds out her practice in the metaverse. You know, she's got a clinic, she's got a floor. She now has a class. She has participants. These participants then get a uh, certification. Mm -hmm. That certification is in the form of an NFT. Mm -hmm. And now you can get some multiple revenue streams out of Sharonda. You, you, tell, tell us more about that, because I, I think you know about this part. You know, these NFT, this minting of the NFT, and how to leverage it for multiple uh, streams of revenue. Yes, and I really, um, like I said, I can't thank you enough, Carl, for all of your dedication to helping nurses onboard into this space. The very good thing about the blockchain, the blockchain technology is that there's no need for a middleman. What there is a need for mainly is a community. So if you um, start to look at the conversation around NFTs, it's moving now towards the need for a community. A lot of the larger NFTs that um, sold right away and then now are worth millions of dollars, they were kind of early NFT projects. But now as the concept begins to evolve, you'll see communities forming around these NFTs. And that's a large part of the mission so that anybody, if I have a mission, if I'm a singer, if I'm an artist, not just the healthcare professional, whatever I want to contribute to society, 
if I can find a community to support me in my endeavors, we can create our own token. Look what they just did with the Board 8 Yacht Club. They created their own token that they're selling in the future. Their members or whoever has that token can use it for whatever they need to use it for. So my fascination with NFTs is that the possibilities are limitless. What you need is a community. As Black business owners, we are a community. We can form investment, crowdfunding. We can do so much together. And that's why I believe NFTs and the metaverse is so wonderful because it unites time zones, countries, ideas. If we share a passion, we can build a community around an NFT and we can make it whatever we want. We can sell it for however much we want on whatever blockchain we want. We can earn as much as we need to, to invest in our own clinics. Each of us can build our own clinics. That's why it's so powerful. There's never, there's no need now for me to rent yours when I can just get my own community going. And if you believe in what I believe in, let's put our money in and let's get this going. So the, the possibilities are endless. It's intellectual property now over anything else. That's what I believe. Even over, because if you have a community, there's a million people smarter than you. I'm in so many discords with people that are in a whole different side of the continent. We have to wake up at certain times just to communicate. And who knew, you know, what a time to be alive. It's amazing. And, and I'm fascinated by all the possibilities. Well, I, I tell you, it's about expertise. You have an expertise that someone else could use. And then they have an expertise that you can also exactly. utilize. Building exactly. out your community. So now you're taking your whole social media world followers that you have and think about how you now monetize to what Carl's talking about. Like, hey, you've been in these, these communities, you introduce them to what you're doing, and then they can then easily digitally move into your metaverse for an experience because the metaverse is ex it's about experience, it's about a deeper experience. Mm -hmm. Right now we're having a two-dimensional experience, right? If we were in a three-dimensional, four-dimensional world, it would be the closeness and the reality of it would be explosive. It's just, it's, it could be mind-boggling. The, the, and that's the difference. And until you've done it for yourself, you put on some Oculus glasses, you don't really understand what it is that we're uh, referring to. But even from the, 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 the experience world, how you can now translate that into business it levels the playing field. It mm -hmm. levels the playing field. It's almost like, you know what? Pfft, we're starting all over. COVID mm -hmm. might have been the best thing that ever happened to us mm -hmm. for Black right. business owners, yeah. right? We've mm -hmm. got a huge platform. We've got $1 trillion, $1.5 trillion to play with, right? That's that's an economy as large as, as we've said, you know, as large as some kind, a lot of countries, Mexico, Canada, things like that. So now we start to get smart about it because we've been in this consumer based, um, uh, uh, transactional based world. Now we're like, hey, how do I transact to that? It benefits me. So when you spend money now and it flows away from you, it's just gone. Mm -hmm. Think about that being cyclical. Right. And you start doing that in a in a metaverse that, uh, or I would call it even a virtual world. The metaverse is one, as we learned that from Christopher Lafayette, but different virtual worlds, mm -hmm. those are your, you, and you're setting up your own experience that can now transact. And then you've got these NFTs that you can use different ways. Now, Carl, you just made a collection. Talk about that collection. I, you know, I, I love what you're, you, the way you're navigating this conversation. I had to realize the metaverse and NFTs are two different topics. Mm -hmm. And I want everyone to understand that. I have a metaverse, but I didn't have NFTs. And Sharada, we were chatting about this. I said, Sharada, I got to get some NFTs. <laughs> so I actually developed, um, and if you go to OpenSea and type in nursing uh, ecosystem, you see a host of NFT, NFTs I created, art NFTs, all around nursing. And I did one NFT on the first African-American nurse uh, in the U.S., I guess, to be certified. And folks loved it. So there's a whole concept 
that I wanted to develop around various series for the NFTs. Now, you mentioned something. I just want to just to rack track because you mentioned so many good points, both of you. It's a marriage of marketing and branding and tech. The metaverse is a tool. It's a tool. So when you understand how to use that tool, you know, to your benefit, you could build anything. It's like a hammer. A hammer could sit there on your counter or you can help and build a house. Um, I did the NFTs because I realized a few things. That in order for you to have the all over package as a business, black owned business, you have to have the branding. You really need to have the marketing and you have to have the tech. And you put those three things together and it'd be very powerful. And you're right, the paradigm shift because of COVID and you know, no one would want to take advantage of a, a bad situation that fell a country, the world, no one. But it allowed for a reset. Think about LinkedIn. LinkedIn is nothing but a, a bunch of squares that pass your screen every day. That's all it is. You can have a billion dollars and your square is not a, a, a fragment of pixel larger than mine. I'm sitting here in my pajamas. So now I have to think. I have to outthink your team of people that you have that's running around making probably millions of dollars. <laughs> I have to think. So I say this to everyone. Right now, we have a tool that's affordable to every single business here. Just take your time, think about what you want to do, and you keep doing it. You keep doing it. There's a, I just want, there's a one in the movie, Shawshank Redemption. There's this little scene where um, the person in prison is etching away at the wall, <laughs> and he takes a little bit at a time. Well, he escaped. <laughs> he said it may take a million years, but every, every little piece of sand I pull out, it's just that piece of sand to get through. That's what that. this would be, you know? Just keep etching. You're going to make it. Keep etching. Well, I tell you, Sharonda, and I know you've got some things that you've been working on. Um, and they're in, in, in Web3, you know, what opportunities there are in that whole new world. And just help people understand, when you say Web3, decentralized, these are a lot of... A lot of words, but how, how do you see this Web3 world being a game changer? I really see it as the evolution of social media. Um, this weekend, from Thursday until today, there was a fashion show in Decentraland. And DKNY was one of the companies there, Estee Lauder, Forever 21. All the companies that we know and enjoy in real life are now beginning to buy into these experiences, if, even if we remove the word metaverse. So when you think about the opportunity to make money, it was a fashion show. So really, you don't need a whole lot of skill to get on the central land and create clothing and sell them. You may need creativity, you may need um, you know, to be up with the trends, but now this is fashion that only exists in the digital world, so it can be whatever you want. There were people running around as gift boxes and light bulbs, and it was so interesting to see everyone's creativity on display. And it was amazing to see how artists, DJs, panels were all able to present in Decentraland to millions of people all over the world from their living rooms or from their local studios. So these are opportunities to monetize owning the land in these virtual worlds may seem like it's not worth much today, but in five years from now, it could be worth millions of dollars to a brand that wants to brand in that section. Now let's think about COVID. And on top of that, gas prices. I have a lot of friends that are like, Sharonda, why would I want to go? Look, if gas keeps going up, <laughs> I mean, I really enjoyed this uh, fashion show. I felt like I was there in person, dancing, having fun, watching the fashion. And, and gas is going to keep going up. 
turmoils are going to continue to come. COVID is going to continue to plague us. So as these things happen, it's going, I believe it's just going to be like uh, 10 years from now. People said, why would I be on Facebook all day? The main people now from sunup to sundown on Facebook. I don't think it's going to be a uh, conscious choice. I think it's going to be a very natural evolution of social media. Hey, meet me here in Decentraland, or I'll be over here in Somnium Place tonight, or I'm having a concert. I think that it's going to be very natural. You need this NFT to come and see me in person, or maybe you need this NFT to go to this restaurant. I think it's going to creep into society. And I think it's very important as Black business owners for us to know that this is coming and to understand how and what we need to do to be able to brand in this space. So let me ask you this, Sharonda, because this is important. Because I think a lot of people are like, I, hey, look, I know how to get to a website. I can do search on Google. You know, if I own a website, I understand I need a domain. But how do you even get into Decentraland? What, what do you need? So you will need a MetaMask wallet, and that's M-E-T-A-M-A-S-K. That's MetaMask. Once you go to MetaMask, I think it's one of the simplest wallets to set up. You don't have to put any Ethereum or crypto in it, but you do need it because remember, Web3 is about decentralization and ownership. So you own your experience. So when you're in a Web3 experience, you're always going to need a wallet, which points to exactly who you are. So this creates a whole lot of transparency and the way people move because you just can't go around selling and buying and do all these things because the blockchain is keeping a permanent record of what you're doing. Anyways, once you have a MetaMask wallet, you simply go to play.decentraland.org. It's going to ask you to connect your wallet. You sign the agreement that you're willing to connect your wallet and participate in this experience. And then you start to explore. And it's a wonderful experience, especially if you have uh, Oculus or some type of AI device. And I believe that it's only going to continue to evolve the technology, especially when you think about healthcare, I believe a day will come where you'll be able to sit in your living room and put on your Oculus and get an EKG. I look forward to that day. It's going to be life changing for so many people. And then to get an ETH, they call it the ETH, right? You can change, you know, you get this ETH and you usually look, look like some computerized code. So you can personalize that, right? To be like just your name or something like that. Yes, you can. And now is a wonderful time to do that because now you think about all the domains that have all been bought up, right, in Web 2. Like, I wish I could go get a Facebook.com domain. You could never. So now use your creativity to go to ENS domains and purchase different cryptocurrency domains that people can receive crypto directly to that domain. So just like if um, you were going to pay me on Cash App, now I tell you, oh, it's Sharonda.e. Just send my crypto to Sharonda.e. You can do that right now. Go to ENS Domains, set up an ENS wallet. Um, mine was about $75 for one year. Now, the thing is, you do have to, they're time limited. So it does expire. But once you own it, you just renew it as you would. And, and I feel like when I talk about these things, it sounds so crazy. But trust me, if I can understand it, anybody can. <laughs> It's really simple logging in and remembering passwords. One thing I want to say about the MetaMask wallet is during the sign-up process, they're going to give you 12 secret recovery words. There's no customer service with the blockchain because it's decentralized, because you own your experience. You also own the responsibility of protecting your security and your finances. So make sure you write those words down right now. That's the safest way to protect your wallet and put those words in a safe place. Because if you lose your password, you will need those words to get back in, in the order that they're presented to you in. I tell you, it sounds like I need a safety deposit box. I yeah, you do, you do. Yeah, yeah, something to keep that in because you that's do. important. You've heard, everybody's mm -hmm. heard this story about this individual that mm -hmm. got crypto a long time ago 
and now it's worth like you know millions billions of dollars but he doesn't have the code so he can't access it you know that's crazy right it's a part of being responsible and i love it because um one thing you said one of i'm i'm sorry i don't remember but someone said about followers and i think in web 2 and in twitter and facebook it has been about followers, right? How many people can you get to follow? The thing I love about Web3 is that it goes beyond following, right? Web1 was just the read. Web2 was read and write. Read and write. Now Web3 is read, write, and experience our own. So instead of followers, you need a following. You need a community. You need people that believe in what you believe in and that are willing to support your cause. So thank you all. Thank you so much, Dr. Kelly, Mr. McCauley, Grant, Carl. I, I really appreciate you all even for listening. Thank you. Thank well, you. I tell you, that was impactful information. I'm sure everybody should have their pens and pencils out. This will be replayed, but that was golden information that you just shared. Thank uh, you. So that, that was fantastic. So Carl, you, okay. you're, you're going, you're doing some things around some grant opportunities through I partnership am. for minority businesses with employees. Tell us a little bit more I, about that. I, yeah. And I just, I just want to tag on what Sharonda said. I already have a couple of names, uh, concert seats dot. <laughs> so think about what she said. I'm locked in. So think about what she just said. Now's the time. If you have a name, lock it in. So I just want to say that. And um, the wallet, it took me a while to get my wallet, but I got my wallet. Thank you, Ms. Rhonda. <laughs> so now here's the thing. Everyone needs some type of funding to get off and running. There's a wonderful government a credit towards businesses that have employees called a retention. I just posted, if you go to LinkedIn, you could find me, you could Google my name. Find me, send me a, a, a text, DM, and we'll see if we can work with you. Now, these are companies that if you have 500 employees, the better. If you have maybe 25 employees, but those that have been impacted in any way. And we have a, a team that will just basically, you just let us know your name. We'll run through the process for you. So you can't ask for anything easier than that. Now, we're hoping that whatever funding you do get, you know, that's going to help you to be able to get your first foot on the floor to getting into the metaverse. Because that's the challenge, you know, sometimes we need some funding. So just give me a call. Um, and also for branding opportunities, you know, I can always uh, sketch out time for another business that, um, you know, want that look so that um, it can engage because this is about engagement. And as Sharana knows, if you don't engage, people won't know what you have to offer. So well, I tell you, Carl, we, we are out of time. I see oh, Anthony okay. is here. <laughs> we, we've got to jump <laughs> off. We've got the Dr. Kelly is about to join uh, the show here in a minute. I want thank to you. thank everybody for following thank the brand. You, you can also you. tune in to all of our episodes at www.5starbdm. That's B for brand, D for development, and for masters.com. Thank you, everybody, and thank the Black thank Business you. Movement for having thank us you. on. Thank you, Sharada. Thank, thank you, you guys so much, man. And genius thank is coming, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Thank you. Thank you much. Five Star BDM Brand Development Masters is a professional consulting and advisory group keenly focused on business development services for the small to mid-sized business and entrepreneurs. Although every business is unique, they often share business development challenges that can be addressed through smart branding. Services include process improvement and operations, digital strategy and transformation, business intelligence, digital marketing, and personal branding. Our business and personal branding company has helped a number of professionals and organizations to optimize and grow. This results in more business, more opportunities, better reach, positive outcomes. Visit www.5starbdm.com today to learn more.